Hey guys, this is Hart, and I'm going to be playing through Silver Saga 2, The Legend of Light and Darkness, which is on the Super Famicom. Um, I know that I've only just started Little Princess, but I tried everything I can think of, and I can't get my disc to stop just freezing up at that one, at a one sort of cutscene just after where I've recorded up to, so until I can figure out something else to do with that, um, I'm going to have to... Uh, play something else is basically the, the decision I came down to. Uh, I'm kind of annoyed about it, but I guess there's nothing I can do. So, this is a little um, Super Famicom game that I was playing over the Christmas break, and I don't know, I kind of liked it in spite of myself. Um, normally, I'm all about graphics and good uh, character design and things like that, um, which this game doesn't necessarily have. Um, but I don't know, something about it I, I kind of like. This is the intro sequence, obviously. This is uh, something fell from the sky and four towers um, rose up. Uh, who's this guy? Then the invasion of the evil king. But just when it seemed that all light would be would disappear, the legendary warrior Leon rose up and... After the end, at the end of the fight, he defeated Dagon, the, like, Dark Lord, and peace returned to the land. Awesome. Um, so quite a lot has been happening with me, um, since I've last kind of checked in with you guys. It's been so, such a long time since I've made one of these now. Um, let's go. I'm afraid I don't know Silver Saga 1. Um, so let's call our dude what I like to call my dudes in these things. Hato. Hato. Um, if I sound a little bit weird, it, like my voice, it's because I actually have pneumonia right now. Um, I mean, I didn't even think people got pneumonia anymore. It's like a... I thought it was like the Black Plague. It's kind of like something from the past, but apparently people do get it and I have it, which sucks. Um, okay, so we're telling this person our name, which means they probably don't know who we are. We have terrible fever, you don't remember. Hmm. Okay, so this lady basically saved us. Um, and then several days later. Okay, just hang on a second, she says. Uh, take this with you. She gave us a stick and a leather shield and leather armor. Oh, it's from her uh, dead, like, spouse. Hmm, okay, thanks. Okay, I wonder if they equipped that for us. Hey, fish. Um, okay, so this game is kind of just... Um, I, had, I played it through for a little while uh, over the holidays. Um, I didn't get that far, but I got far enough to know that I was having a good time. So, so will be... So nothing, I don't have anything equipped, so let's put on the, the stick, uh, or the club, I guess is a better word. Um, leather shield and leather armor. Coolness. Um, so at the moment we only have one character, which is Heart. Um, and if you press, oh yeah, I got 100G. If you press um, whatever button that would be on the Famicom. I think it's A, you kind of search, and as much as that looks like a treasure chest, that's actually the sign for the item shop, is what it's telling me. So, hello, friend. Um, okay, god statues, he says. They're um, something that the spirit of gods are, like, captured inside. Um, they actually are quite important uh, later on in the game. Um, this is another one of those games where, yeah, it, pay, it pays you to um, sort of rifle through everyone's stuff, which is good fun. Nope, just lots of firewood. Um, yeah, so I've been very sick um, 
very ill. Uh, I actually had to go to hospital on the weekend. Uh, I was in A&E, which uh, I think in America is called ER, um, but in here in England it's called accident and emergency. Um, oh, they got an Adan fruit, which I can't remember what it does. Um, which sucked a lot. It was Friday night as well, so it was really, really, really busy. Um, and it took ages for them to kind of sort me out. And then I got sent to a ward and had to sleep, uh, like with all these old people in a ward and it was like really depressing and stuff. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the mercenary shop. Oh, mercenaries are quite cool in this game. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have enough money. I have 150. I probably don't have enough money to hire anyone just yet. Uh, oops, I don't want to return one, I want to hire one. That's a hundred gold. Okay, so they've got all these guys. There's eight possible people you can hire that are all level one. And they cost a hundred gold. Uh, I'm gonna come back when I have enough to at least hire a full complement of four uh, mercenaries. So I'll just leave that for now. This is the town of Beta, okay. Move. Thank you. Um, and this is what? This is the Magic Guild. So here we can save our spirit, which is basically how you save the game. Um, restore your life. Shinzo Gattai. So combine god statues or um, change which god statues you have. Um, we don't have any at the moment, so that might seem a bit strange, but um, we'll pick up some more of those later. Okay, so let's go. Matte kudasai. Hang on. So you're really going? Yes. Okay, well, my name is Maria. Uh, I want to go with you, but I can't use magic or weapons, so I'll only get in the way. So please, just take this with you. And she gave us a bag with several tools inside it. Recovery grass, five, um, antidote, gr antidote, three, um, earth's prayer, one of them, and wind's prayer, one of them. Okay, thanks, friend. Thanks, media. Okay, so now that we've got our stuff, um, I kind of don't really follow the story that much when I was playing this game, I just kind of played it. Um, so this is the battle system, it's actually kind of strangely satisfying. Um, so you just select, um, oops, what am I doing? You select what you want to do, and with whom, and that's all you have to do. So it, it moves pretty quickly, um, which is, it's quite satisfying, like you don't have to worry so much when you're kind of grinding or anything like that. I found the system was pretty, I don't know, satisfying somehow. Um, there's a Zool. The, the, the monsters are called Zools in this game. So there's a Zool behind the man, and it's a flare. So we'll just attack this person. Awesome, critical. So the golden number is how much money you get, and then the grey number that pops up is how much experience you're getting. Um, so like, wow, you saved my life. Um, Thank you. So, and to thank us, he gave us a protection charm. Which I actually don't know what it does, so let's look at that. Umamori. Uh, okay, it improves your defense. So, I wonder if I can equip it. No. Maybe I just use it. Oops. Uh, but my. What are these? This is the Earth's Prayer, which gets you out of caves, so that's useful. And this is the wind's prayer, which is um, carries you to whichever um, town you want to go to. Um, oh, and this is that strange fruit, the Adan fruit we got, which it says weakens an enemy. And then these are our basically herbs and antidotes, so they're pretty self-explanatory. So we leveled up and now we're level two. So let's explore this cave. Um, a herb, so we'll keep that. I think I might have. It might have been, might have behooved me to have leveled up a little bit before I came in here, but oh well, whatever.
Yeah, okay, these guys are not too tough. We should be okay. Yeah, I, I can remember that when I was playing this game, the, the battles kind of move along quite swiftly, so it's it's quite quite fun to play. Oh no, there was a Zool in the chest. Okay, if this is a ghoul. A ghoul Zool. Um, normally I don't really like these kinds of... Whoa, okay, this is going to be a little bit scary. Um... Wow, um, I might be too weak for this. Yeah, I'm definitely too weak for this. Oh, that was crazy lucky. Okay, let's use this Adan fruit to weaken the enemy. Oh, it's just a heavy attack. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> okay, I think I definitely need to be doing some level up. Oh, awesome. Okay, we found the Earth's... Um, the Earth God statue. Yay! So that's our first God statue, which is good. Oops. Um, okay. Hopefully we won't fight anyone as tough as that before we at least level up to level 3. Senindama. We have, okay, a Senindama. I don't know what that does. Let's check it out. Senindama. Oh, it fills up your HP completely. Useful. Okay, these guys I feel like we can handle. Yeah, so, as I started saying before, um, I normally don't really like these kinds of games where you can't see your characters that you're using, um, but at least, I don't know, the fact that there's a portrait and there's a little animation um, goes some way towards... I think that's why I never really liked, um... Hey, level up. That's why I never really liked, uh... Dragon Quest. I don't know, I've never properly played a Dragon Quest game, so... I really shouldn't judge, but it's never really been one of those games where I'm like, oh, I really want to play it. Because this kind of interface normally doesn't really, um... Attract me too much, but I don't know, like, something about... I guess it's the nicely animated, um, enemies and things. Maybe? Don't know. Um, so I'm back in college, um, not doing as much as I should be, um, to be perfectly honest. Um, I've got, well I've been sick for the past week, so I definitely haven't been doing any work in that sense. I'm running out of these herbs, but that's okay. Let's just keep going. I can always use that, um, Earth's... Earth, what was it? Earth's Prayer? Um, we found a... to get out of here. We found a... Uh, what's an uroko? What do, have, what do fish have on? Scales. Scales. A scale shield. So that'll take our defense up, so that's good. Um, it's weird, I'm so kind of disillusioned with my whole uni course right now. I basically just want to get out of here, so I'll do whatever I have to do to just finish and I don't know I'm kind of just so I so don't care about my grades and things which is not really a great position to be in and we found a gold needle in the chest so we obtained the gold needle um if I remember correctly we were supposed to talk to people in town um a bit more and there's a man who is looking for a gold needle um so like, in order to advance the plot, that's what we need to do. Uh, but, uh, I kind of already knew that, so... Without talking to that guy, you can come and at least find the needle. Um, without knowing you actually need it. Um, so I could use the, um, Earth's Prayer here, but I think if I can get a couple of sneaky levels in before I make it back to town, that would help me a lot. Um, Obviously, at the beginning of the game, you just have one character, which does make things a little bit harder. Yay, his attack missed. Um, yeah, so I've been kind of ill, but my um, luckily because I'm back in college, I've got lots of good friends um, who live here, and everyone's been looking after me, like, when I was really ill, because um, I was actually... I live in Oxford, um, or go to school there rather, 
Um, but I was in a hospital in Reading, which is kind of like the next town over. So on Sunday, I had to get um, one of my closest friends. I had I called her up and I was like, um, because she has a car. I was like, can you come and get me, please? And she was like, yeah, okay, sure. But I felt really bad. I was like, thank you. Um, so she basically rescued me. Um, and then brought me home and then like she's been really great she's been like she went and got me all these kinds of things that sick people need like soup and stuff so that's great and then against probably better judgment I have actually gone out I did go out yesterday and I did go out today despite it being really cold I went to my um, college not my college my um, my subject department just so I could do some work because I can never work in my room so I like, took my computer and just worked in the cafe downstairs. There's like a, uh, it's not really, a cafe is not really the right word. It's kind of just like a cafeteria. Um, but yeah, there's like nice chairs and stuff and I can just sit there and work. Oh my gosh, it's a moldor. I don't know what that is, but let's take it out. I hope this doesn't kill me. Okay, yeah, it's not too strong. Okay, kind of has a lot of life though. I don't know, there's something very tangible about the attacks and the sound effects and stuff. It's very satisfying. I like things like that. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna need to buy some new herbs. How much money do I have? 288, not that much. Um, oh, let's look at the... Um, this is Earth. So we've got the Earth statue. It basically, um, is, is, it's level one and exists kind of just as a party member. Um, I won't actually show... Actually, I could show how they're used in a second. Uh, but before I do that, I need to buy some stuff. So, let's buy some recovery things. I'll buy... I guess I'll buy ten of them. Um, that was expensive, but... Um, okay, that should do. And then... This is the guy that we needed to give the needle to, so I'll give that to him while I'm here. Oh! That's the golden needle that I'd hidden. Um, good job finding it. This is mine. Um... <laughs> so he took the golden needle from us, and from... And because of that, or like, in return, he'll give us a canoe, which lets us cross, um rivers. So, yay, we obtained the canoe. So now that we have the canoe, we can cross sort of one space of water in, um, in, what's it, on the map screen. So now we'll be able to get a little bit further to the south. But before I do that, I'm just gonna heal here. Thank you. Okay, that, did that heal me? No. Oh, what does this do? Ipodu. Oh, okay, I learnt a skill, which is Ripol, which gets rid of poison on myself, which is awesome. So, whoops, I'm just collecting nothing. Just, I'm gonna use some of these herbs. And then, while I'm travelling out here, I'll show you um, the Earth statue. Okay, so what we do is, in you choose, it says here choice, you can choose your party, your mercenaries, I don't have any, or your god statues, so I have one, which is Earth. So basically you choose who attacks for you. Um, if you choose um, your mercenaries or your god statues, it basically goes into auto battle, you don't control them. Um, but uh, the neat thing is that your both your mercenaries and your god statues level up basically just like any other party member. Um, but it's basically like you can have a... You basically have three parties. So um, here the earth statue leveled up, which is... So now he'll be level two. Um, and they have skills that they'll use as well um, as they level up, which is quite neat. Um, and it's also cool if like your party is taking damage, you can switch out and use uh, either the mercenaries or your god statues. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to probably try and handle this myself. OK, 
Okay, those mosques are pretty creepy. And then those flying things are called baubles. Um, should get easier the more of them that I can get rid of. Good job! Okay, I was hoping I'd level up, but I guess not. Okay, so let's go to this town. And I wonder if I can remember what to do here. This is the town of Adol. Um, they have very good defenses, so there's not much damage done by the Zuls. So while we're here, let's... Oh, there was nothing at the bottom of the well, so that's a shame. I'm just gonna go through everyone's stuff. Because you actually find pretty good stuff if you search everywhere. Oh, we found. Oh, no, I just said there were five bottles there. No, I don't want advice. Um, these are like the fortune tellers, and they tell you what to do next if you kind of get stuck or forget what you were supposed to be doing. Hello, conspicuous person. Um, god statues can't equip things, but if you combine them with other god statues, they'll be able to use more powerful magic. Um, yeah, that's kind of like a, it's kind of like a breeding thing. You can breed stronger god statues by um, having them uh, basically fuse together. We found lucky powder. Cool. Oh, okay, cool. We found 30 gold. Um, it definitely helps to look through all these things for stuff because, uh, especially at the beginning of the game, it's pretty harsh when it comes to money. Um, it's really hard to get enough money. If you spend a long time just kind of, um, there's, that's nothing, I don't know why I looked there. Um, sort of grinding, then you can make some money, but I, I find if you don't want to grind, this is probably the quicker way to do it. Okay, nothing here. Some very funky in music. Okay, let's see. Nothing in the pot. We found a boa seed. Okay. I'll have to check what all these things do in a sec. Let's look. Oops, that's magic. Ah, uh, item. So, we picked up this... Okay, the Lucky Powder, I think, is a usable item. It raises your luck for a while. And then the Boa Seed. And, okay, it spreads seeds uh, um, between the enemies. So, I'm not really sure what that does. But I guess we'll find out. Um, this is obviously an equipment place. I would really like to buy some new stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this knife. So, let's just put that on me. Yeah, okay, so that improves my attack by a lot. That should make my life a whole lot easier. Um, and then, I can't afford anything. They have the bestest bronze armor. And they have a, um, what's this, leather helmet, which is which would be probably pretty good to have. So I'm gonna sell this leather shield. Okay, cool. Um, because I found that scale shield, which means I can buy this leather helmet. Should give me a little bit more experience, uh, not experience, defense. Oops, why do I keep doing that? I keep picking up stuff on the ground. Um, cool, awesome. At least we have a full complement of armor now. Hello. I have a request for you. Um, can you please deliver this to my older brother living in Memo? Um, inside it has um, like a something woven. Um, and my brother will pay you. Will you do it for me? Okay, sure. Great, so we have a little mission from that guy. This is another mercenary place, but I definitely don't have enough money. 
I'm fairly certain here I can get someone else to join my party, which would be useful. Okay, nothing on these shelves. Yay, 70 gold. Oh, I needn't have sold that, um, that shield, but whatever, I guess I didn't really need it anyway. I'm pretty sure the next party member that I'm going to get can't equip the same stuff that I can anyway, so I shouldn't need to worry about that. Okay, sometimes there's slightly different messages um, when you check stuff, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you found anything. Um, okay, we can't let someone like you who doesn't even know their own rank through here, so... Um, obviously I don't do that yet. Oh, I wonder if I need to do this. Yeah, I think I need to talk to this girl over here. Ah, uh, Kairaru-sama. Oh. Okay, so he's thinking, she's thinking about someone called Cairo. Oh my god, so many pots. So exciting. Yeah, 200 gold. Awesome. Okay. This is, I think, the richest merchant in the city's house, so that's why there's so much... That's why it's bigger than everyone else's house. Hello, maid. This is, uh... Miron's house, or Miron's mansion, even. Um, I think that's the same name as that guy, um... You know what's that Super Famicom game with Milon? Or Milon's Secret Castle or something? Kairaru Ozu... Oh, Prince Kairo. Uh, he saved my daughter, but he's gone back to Ado. Mm. So my daughter, Re Lisa. Uh, I don't know where she is. She keeps saying I want to go to Argus. Mm, and then she ran out of the house. Oh, Lisa. So, okay. So we need to go and talk to Lisa once again, who is that girl outside. She was saved by Prince Chiral, and so now she kind of is pining for him. Oh, are you Kairo sama uh, No, who are you? Ah, uh, okay, I know. I know. Um, can you take me as far as Ar um, Arcasus? Uh, I can use, um, like, Shrine Maiden's magic. So I'm sure I'll be able to help you. Even if you say you don't want to take me, I'm going with you for sure. Uh, so we got stuck taking Lisa to Arcas, Arcasus. Um, I'm Lisa, and you are? Hmm, heart, you say. Okay, well once you're ready, uh, I'm just gonna get ready, so wait for me for a second. Okay, so let's go follow Lisa. Oh, you came back. Um, have you, like, changed your mind kind of thing? Nope. Um, this person's gonna take me to Arkasas. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, the dad's like, basically, look after my Lisa for me. And I'm like, okay, coolness. And she's... Okay, so now we have our second party member. So, let's... This is Lisa. She's a Miko, which is a, like, shrine maiden. Um, so, she's kind of fast, um, actually very fast, um, has kind of okay stats, um, but she can use good magic, so if I look, she can use Meji, which heals, um, so that she's got the first healing spell of the game, so that is very useful, and she can equip pretty much this, she's got um, a club, um, an arm, um, leather armor and a leather shield, just as I did before. So actually, maybe she can equip the same stuff. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dash over to the equipment shop again, and I'm going to buy another knife. I think, yeah. It's pretty expensive, but um, with all that money I've picked up, it should be okay. And then for Lisa, I'll also buy her. Um, a leather helmet, and 
Yeah, she can't equip the bronze armor. I suppose it's too heavy for her. So let's quickly equip the stuff that we picked up. So for Lisa, she has a knife, which will improve her attack by a lot, and a helmet. And then I can sell off this stuff that I don't need anymore. So I want to sell. I'll sell this club. I have two of them. Oops, I could have sold them all, but whatever. Uh, and then I can also sell... Oh, no, that's all I have to sell. Okay, great. Let's go. Okay, I should be able to... If I come here to the Magic Guild, I can just quickly save. Tamashi no Hokan. Yep. Awesome. Okay, anything here? Ugh, has a gross smell. And it made tears come to my eyes, it says. It's okay, so... Um, how much money do we have? 239. Um, okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to head back to the first town so that we can pick up some mercenaries so that we can start training them. Uh, and we, I'll also be able to train Lisa a little bit. Uh, So since I've given Lisa that knife, even though she's only level 2, she does um, pretty decent damage. Um, which should definitely help at this stage in the game. If you do enough grinding then this game definitely isn't difficult. Um, so that brings Heart to level 4 and Heal and Meji as well, which is that basic healing spell that Lisa has. So that should make things a little bit easier in terms of using equipment. Um, not using equipment, but buying stuff. I won't have to buy so many herbs and things, which is always good. So Lisa leveled up to level 3, and she learned Diporu, um, which was that antidote spell. So now Lisa and Hart both have the same spells. Um, the reason I've come back to the... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> the reason I've come back to the first town to hire mercenaries is that is because you can hire them at level 1, um, which means they're cheaper, they're only 100 gold. I think in the town we were just in, they'll cost 300 gold, I think, because they're level 3. So let's go with, who's cool? Um, this guy looks cool, Gaius. So we'll hire Gaius. And he joined our party. And then let's have a female... Um, Milty, that sounds cool. So, so now we have Gaius and Milty in our party. Um, and they join our party just like the in the form, the same sort of format as the god statues were. Um, I'll just quickly show you in a battle what it looks like using your mercenaries. Oh, this is our canoe, by the way, so we can travel along. Um, small, small bodies of water. So just like before, you can change uh, party members. So now we've got our whole party, our mercenaries, or our god statues. So if we switch to our mercenaries, they'll just fight for you. So, oh, Gaius leveled up, and Milty leveled up, so just like with your normal party, you can um, use them to fight and to level up. Um, so before I move on to the next part of the story, I'm probably going to spend a little while grinding uh, just to get Lisa and Hart up and all of my mercenaries up a couple of levels, maybe uh, hire a full complement of four, and then maybe if I, if I can be bothered, I'll do a little bit more with my god statue. Um, so hopefully this LP will go okay and I won't have any problems like I did with the little princess, so hopefully I can be back LPing with you guys a little bit more often. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next